Welcome to Reality Math and Science Institute. So this morning we are going to be looking at one of the important topic again. We are dealing with factorization. You know, factorizing is just like the opposite of um uh, is the opposite of expan expansion. So we have a problem here right now. The problem is just simple, which is you can see it here x square minus four x plus three. Yes, that is what you have to factorize. When you are told to factorize, you are mean simply mean to to summarize it in a way that it will look more simpler. And factorization involving bracketing, you need to put it in a bracket. So this morning, we are going to be looking at this one after the other. There is, why I want to factorize, there are two things you need to put into, into, into uh, consideration. One is product of root. Product of root. To sum of root, sum of root. Yes, these are two things you need to put into consideration if you want to factorize any algebraic expression. Now, let me show you through. Now, in aspect, in respect to this, if you want to know all this, first of all, you write again x square minus. 4x plus 3. This is an algebraic expression. So for you to carry out the product of root. Product of root is the, is the product of the, the one kind, the power, exponential power, and the one and the ordinary number in the expression. That is the first expression, the last expression are the product of root at the matter of fact the first letter here is a the second one here is b the last one here is c so product of root product of root is the product of product of root product of root is equal to a times c a times what a times c which is x square and three it so is a times c you get what i'm saying now so product of root is a times c is a times c then sum of root sum of root some of the rules is going to be some of the root is going to be just as simple as that. Some of the root is talking about B is B. B. Not just ordinary B. B, when you are really talking about B, B is under expanding B. The limit as well, expanding B. Using the factor, using the factors of the product of root Of using this factor, the product of root. So what I what I'm saying here is that without the product of the root, you not be able to do your sum of root. You not you not be able to do your sum of root. Now, let's go back to our work. Now, in this in this expression. 
x squared minus 4x plus c plus 3. Now let's look at the product of root here now. Product of root is going to be this and this. So what you have now is going to be going to be product of root going to be x squared times 3. What what going to give us x squared times 3 will give us what 3x squared. 3x squared. That is going to be our product of root. Now, how do we get our sum of root now? Sum of root for this. What will be our sum of root? Sum of root now since the product is product is our product of the root was 3x squared. Now, sum of root now, sum of root now, sum of root, sum of root is now going to be the sum of the corresponding factors of 3x squared. It's going to be what? Sum of the corresponding factor of sum of corresponding factors so we'll sum of corresponding factor of 3x squared going to be sum of corresponding factor of 3x squared meaning what does it mean now we are going to look for for factors of 3 of 3 no, or factor of 3x square or factor of 3x square factor of no that is a positive 3 so factor of 3x square will be such a way such that when we had the factor together we are going to have him minus 4x and when we multiply them together we are going to have plus 3x square so let's look at factors of 3 you only have one single factor of three, which makes our, our work easier. One factor of three is one and what? And three. One and three is just the simple analogy there. Now, but how do we now use one and three to have minus 4 and minus 4x and 3x squared simple we break it we know that negative times negative will always give us positive so now to break this one down now you know there's nothing like 1x so it's better we use our x for 1 so now in this issue now we'll be having minus 1 you get it minus 3 which will give us minus 1 minus 3 give us 1 plus 3 is 4 abi well because of minus i told you minus and minus minus when you have you can see minus 1 minus 3 is 1 plus 3 is 4 but because that minus put minus what minus 4 so we can replace this one and um, by saying that okay instead of using minus 4 you can ask instead of writing minus 1 we put up minus x minus x minus 3x is based on the number we are having see what you're having here is 3x so you're going to replace minus x minus 3x will normally give me what give me what now let's look like minus x minus 3 give what minus 4x now if you want to know if you want to know this now, look at it. Now look at it. Minus times minus is what? Is plus. X times 3X is 3X squared. Which make our, our this to match with this. You can see how two of them match now, right? You can see how. So that's how to factorize. It must match. You can see how. They all match together. So, having done this now, it makes our work easier. So, we can now move ahead. 
and write our work what do we have now we have uh, we have x square minus 4x plus 3 now we we'll now rewrite it now instead of writing minus 4x we are going to be writing the breaking process of this we are going to write we are going to be writing this we are going to be writing this this is the expansion abi yes yes we are going to write this the expanded part of that number instead of writing minus 4x so instead of writing minus 4x now what do we do what we write now is simple we are going to write x square minus you know minus x minus 3x plus 3 that what we write instead the, the expanded that is i told you there are two how to get our sum of root sum of root is sum of corresponding factors sum of corresponding factors so the corresponding factors here is minus x minus 3x yeah, get it now because i told you how to get our so now i told you that b is expanding b or b is by expanding b so the expanded b now is minus x is minus s minus 3s and when you do it very well minus s minus 3s give you minus 4x that's just we just we just did it yeah we just expanded the stuff you get it now so the next step now is to group and the next thing is grouping so the next point here is what is grouping so the next thing we are going to do here is to group so we are going to do one or two grouping here and from there now we factorize so the next thing here is grouping so the next we are going to do here is grouping so how do we do the grouping now grouping So grouping just by putting them now what do we, we had now we have x square minus x mm, minus 3x plus 3 so the grouping is going to help us in this way you group this one and this one then you group this one and this one you see how I group them now. I because you see there they are four, so I have to group them two, 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 two. Because I know that x square and x square they have something common. Minus three x and three they have something common. You can see that the most your grouping must must study very well. make sure that they have something in common. So after we have done this now, the next step now is to factorize. Is to what factorize by finding the factors now so what i'm going to do here now is very simple now look at what you have done x square and x if you write now you can see x square and x you see there is something particular to them so let's just group them just take it down one after the other now i'll take i'll first of all take the first corridor of the work so I'll, I'll because i want to group them now let me deal with this guy so i have x square minus x right x square minus s now i want to put them into their own bracket now what is the common factor of x square and x is x so s can go here i divide this guy by x s can go here i divide this one by x so now having done that now so the common factor now i'll put it outside which is x because the only common form factor here is x s can go in all of them so if i go and find you know how to find your common factor highest what we use here is your highest common factors your highest common factors so i don't want to be doing like primary one but if you want me to do it i'll go and find the highest common i'll go and find the highest common factor i can go and find the highest common factor this guy so to find the highest common factor is, is not hard 
it just you don't have to find this con factor it just come right x square and x now what is coming to x what can go in two of these so x in x square is x x in x is one nothing is common here again right nothing is common here again because you look for their common factor, highest common factor. So what is common to both of them? So because if you say you want to use x, that is here, it's not here. So the highest common factor is x. So since you've gotten your highest common factor now, these are your remainder. These are those things that are going to be in the bracket using this sign. So this one is going to be one now. What, what is our common factor here? Our ACF here is what? ACF here is x. So HA, our ACF always be outside. x into, what is here? x and 1, right? x what is the sign between them minus but normally here is minus x so here is going to be minus one so x minus one that's going to be the first part of the bracket so the second part of the bracket is uh is something like minus three x plus three which is the second part of the bracket. Now, you are still going to find the uh, LC, uh, HCF, highest common factor. Minus 3x and 3. Minus 3x, so we call this minus 3 minus 3x. So what we are going to use here, the common factor here is 3. The least common factor here. So 3 in minus 3 will be minus x. Then here we're going to be 1. Right, here is going to be what? Here is going to be one. So what we have is minus x and one. Is what minus x and one. You cannot see minus x plus one. You cannot see one minus x. One minus x can come first. So minus x plus one is into one minus x. You get it now. One minus x. So we now write here. What's our a highest common factor here our highest common factor here is what is this so we're gonna bring out three into one minus x so this is the second bracket this is the second bracket second bracket yes this is the second bracket so what we need to do now is to bring all of them now together both the first bracket and the second bracket first bracket and the second bracket so we're going to, have to we are going to bring the first bracket and the second bracket together so we are going to bring the first and the second bracket together to make our work now to make it make a sense now there is something we really need to put in order here so now we are going to come out and what's the first bracket this is x into so what we have x minus x to x minus one so bring the first bracket x into x minus one What the second bracket? 3 into 1 minus x. So, this is going to be 3. So now, this 3 now, there's something we really need to do here. I made a point at that time. And excuse me, let me just correct a notion. We have minus s plus one. Sorry, we have minus s plus one. So here I want to re done this one. So this one is minus what? We have minus x. Okay, minus x plus one. 
minus s plus one sorry let me put it like that so putting it in that way there won't be double so now when we write it now out let's write it out so sorry i corrected that notion sorry so this one is going to be three you can see three into what into minus what into minus x plus one into minus x plus one so what we are going to do here now is to make sure that these guys and this guy must be equal the same thing must be in the bracket the same thing so to make this one the same thing that there's no way we're having two double sign in a bracket no what you need to do is what you need to do is to introduce this minus sign here to come to the front yes how do i do this what i'll just do is to multiply this one now is okay but this bracket is having issue so i something the same thing must be so what i'm going to do to this bracket is to make it the same thing with this one so if i want to make it the same what i'll do is to divide or multiply by minus one to make this one positive the other here is positive x so to make this one positive x too because here is positive x this one must be positive x so what to do now is to multiply both sides by minus one so i will now say multiply that going to be minus one right into minus one times minus x plus one times minus one so you get what i've just done now minus so if you want to do this one now we'll be having something like this now look at it minus three will come will come to the front nothing so minus times minus is plus so i don't need to put the plus now one times x is what is x now look at this one now look at this one now plus times minus is minus so one times one is what is one so this one has made the second bracket to be what the second bracket now becomes what minus three into x minus one so what i just need to do is to bring the two bracket back again what the what's in our first bracket we are having okay we are having we are having x x into x minus one bracket now this one i will now turn to minus three into x minus one now i can rest now why the reason why i can rest is that see what's inside there is what is inside here so since it is like that now i'll pick this one and this one then pick any of the inside bracket so i'll now make it x minus three into any of them no since they are the same to just only pick only one into x minus one so what we cannot see now is that the the factorized format of x square minus 4x plus 3 is going to be what now x minus 3 into x minus 1 and this is going to be our answer. So please go through the video very well. If there's anywhere you are having any problems, so let me know. If there's anywhere you are having any form of a problem, just let me just let me know. So so that we'll be able to do one or two things and and let everybody be fine. So get it. So we have looked at it and I believe really took a long thought today so please and please go through and go to very well and this is the best way to do this so